What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Yeah. That's having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger. We're going to be showcasing an Espeon team for ranked master tier. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But in my previous video, I was just chatting it up, talking like I normally do in a video. And I was sitting there, I was just like, yo, I need to get my hands on an Espeon team. And my boy Joe came in clutch. A so huge shout out to Joe for leaving this team in my YouTube comments. And he actually made this team. And the team name is, you guys can't see it because it's behind my face cam. It is sub to Gene. So if you guys are not subscribed, get on top of this that but again huge shout out to joe thank you so much for making this team it looks amazing and it looks very very strong but we get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only espion such a cool pokemon i think a lot of people love this pokemon as well that's magic bounce as its ability focus Ash as item and then it has imprison and trick room psychic and dazzling gleam solid espion build cannot wait to use this and showcase it in some rank battles Second Pokemon is going to be Talonflame. Talonflame, just a very solid uh, Tailwind setter alongside with a solid physical attacker because it learns Flare Blitz and Brave Bird. It has Flame Body as its ability, Covert Cloak as its item, Taunt, Tailwind, Flare Blitz, and Brave Bird. I usually like Gale Wings on Talonflame, but for the most part, Talonflame will outspeed most Pokemon, so you can pretty much set up a Tailwind without even using Gale Wings. Third Pokemon is going to be the Water Breed Tauros with Intimidate and the Mirror Herb as its item. It has Protect. Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Wave Crash. Pretty normal set for any of these Tauroses. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Bax Calibur. And I've been seeing Bax Calibur being used more and more on the rank ladder, especially with this move set right here. It has Protect, Ice Shard, Icicle Spirit, and Glaive Rush. And it's rocking Loaded Dice and Thermal Exchange. Again, I've been seeing this Pokemon a lot more, and it's super strong on the rank ladder, so we're going to keep rocking with it. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Golden Go with the Air Balloon and Good as Gold. I've been seeing Golden Go rock Air Balloon much more because it kind of keeps them immune to ground moves. So I haven't used it yet, but I really do like this set. It has Protect, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, and Nasty Plot. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Amoongus. And Amoongus is really good for multiple reasons. A, it has Rage Powder to kind of just like keep support and keep ally Pokemon alive. Alive. B, it has Clear Smile to counter Donthozo and uh, Boosted Pokemon. And then C, it can Spore. It can legit put anybody to sleep as it feels. So it's really, really good Pokemon. Effect Spore as ability. Citrus Berry as item. Four moves we already mentioned. And then this Terror type is going to be Water. So we can change if need be. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, Let's Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Espeon team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team. So this is a perfect time to showcase Espeon. I'm going to lead this just to kind of counter Trick Room, pop it in prison, and kind of roll from there. I wonder who he's going to lead. They can definitely lead a Torkoal and Lilligan, which could be a scary little combo because then he could just go into straight eruption. So how should I play this one? We're going to go Espeon for sure. And then, do I go into Bax Calibur? Or maybe even Golden Go here. I mean, Golden Go would get ripped by that eruption. Never mind. Not Golden Go. Not Golden Go. What's your Terror type, Bax Calibur? It's Ice. You're going to get ripped too. You're not too bad because I can put on a little bit of punches. I might go into Tauros here. A little bit of Tauros lead. Wouldn't that be bad? Or I can go into Talonflame. I have to go into either Talonflame or... Or Tauros, right? It seems like her best bet. I might go into Tauros here. I can intimidate if he does go into a physical attacker. Um, hmm. I like Talonflame a little bit better, though. I don't know. This is real tough. I am going to go Talonflame here. Try to force him to go for a Trick Room turn one, you know? Because if we have Talonflame on the field, we can kind of just roll off from there. And then next Pokemon, I am going to bring Golden Go. And last but not least, I'm thinking Baxcalibur, right? I like Baxcalibur. Pretty solid Pokemon. Especially if he does bring out Mimikyu, we can kind of just Icicle Spirit down, knock off the skies, and go from there. So hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and get started here with Espeon with a W. But next Pokemon I am looking for, I'm looking for an Ampharos team. If any of you guys got an Ampharos team, send it to me as quickly as possible. Hopefully it's a stronger team that I can use on the Master tier as well. All that good stuff. I would love to showcase it for a YouTube video. But I think that's what I'm going to start doing. It's just like requesting Pokemon day by day. And then if people can get them to me, I can use them for the rank ladder. But the, it's going to go Lilith and Torkoal. Again, I do not like this. Um, I am just going to... I guess Psychic down the Torkoal. He's going to go for an after you. This sucks. I'm going to try... Uh, dude, I don't know what to do here. This sucks. Like, this was the one combo. So you're like, oh my god, I don't know what to do up against. Uh, yeah, I feel like I just have to go after you, right? Do that. And I could go for a Braver. But we don't have Gale Wings, which kind of sucks. I could start taunting this... Uh, this Logan, just so it can't use those moves. So yeah, I'm gonna taunt the Logan if I can. And kind of roll like that. 
He's gonna end up Terrasilizing. This is terrifying. Don't like it at all. At all don't like it. And he's gonna go straight fire, right? Yeah. Please, have mercy. Have mercy on my Espeon. Have mercy on me. After you comes out, Solace from 6,553 miles away. And Torkoal's going to pop a big time eruption. Scary, scary, scary stuff. Can any guys eat this up? Espeon has Sash. Which is beautiful. Love you, Espeon. That's not too bad, considering we're going to be able to taunt this thing. And then we'll go from there, right? We shall go from there. Psychic's going to fly here. Rip it into this. Bop. Doing some amazing damage. Absolutely amazing damage. Insane damage. I'm going to Psychic just to finish this thing off. It's probably going to protect. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to KO one of my Pokemon to bring this thing down to Focus Ash. We'll go into Flare Blitz. We'll bring Logan out of here. And he's going to withdraw. Okay, who are you going to go into here? Is the real question. Who are you going into? Gargonac. That's a solid swap out. A real solid swap out. He's going to swap Logan. He's going to protect the Torkoal. I don't mind that too much. As long as you don't have Trick and on the field, I'm cool with this. Flare Blitz is flying. Sending it this way. Doing five damage, but KOing my talent flame. So I don't think that was a bad turn. I really don't think that was a bad turn. Focus Ash definitely came in clutch. Talent flame eating that up definitely came in clutch. I like I like where we're sitting at this point. I like where we're sitting. So from here, I can bring out Baxcalibur. I really like Baxcalibur. I really like Baxcalibur. Because I'm just gonna psychic and I'm probably gonna terrestrialize Baxcalibur. Or I can go to Golden Go, but I think I'd rather save Golden Go, right? And then potentially just trash slice this thing and go into Icicle Spears. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a fine, fair play for me. So what I need to do is just get rid of Torkoal. And Psychic can allow me to do that. Right, yeah. So Psychic into the Torkoal. We're going to trash slice. And we're just going to go into an Icicle Spear. Right into the Gargle next slot. So I'm with it. I'm with it. I like where we're sitting. And wow, yo, Espeon did a huge chunk of damage. He's going to witch all. He's going to save Torkoal for later. Probably not bring out the Logan. Probably be a different Pokemon. It's going to be Mimikyu. Okay, so Mimikyu comes out. I think he wants the after you combo ready to go again, right? I think that's his play. He wants the after you combo, and that's really scaring me. I mean, I do have Ice Shard, which could be good for us. But I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this one out. This is going to be real tough for us. If he comes back out there with that combo, we are not sitting in a good position. So we do some damage to Mimikyu, take off its disguise, and Icicle Spirit is going to come across here. And he's probably going to take out my Espeon, right? Espeon's probably going to die out here. Not too sure. But Gargonax is going to take a nice chunk of damage, but not die out. But still, if we can hit this thing five times, that could be lovely. Loaded Dice can come in clutch. Chipping up. Give me four. Come on, give me five, baby. Give me five. Four. It's always four. It's never five with this thing. Salt here coming out here. Looking a little scary. Going to do some nice damage to me. Mm hmm. Chipping. It's gonna be chipping hard. What I think he does is potentially double protect. Right? Did he double protect? Potentially, right? Potentially. Stalk here is gonna chip up some damage. And I could imprison if I want to, but I think I'm just gonna go for a psychic here. Do you and just ice sickle spear you down? So he could protect to have to have Salt here go at after me. And he could be looking to pop a trick room, which I think is gonna happen, but if Baxcalibur hits this thing, we KO. No, he goes for Shadow Shadow Sneak. So Shadow Sneak KOs me there. I still have Golden Go, which is good, but what's called? We're gonna take out, uh. We are going to take out Mimikyu here. Mimikyu's gonna drop out here. This battle's gonna be close. I still have Golden Go. Trick Room's not out, and this is their only Trick Room Center. So I'm gonna be able to take out Mimikyu if I hit three times, which I'm gonna really hope so. There's two. Come on, one more. Thank you. Baxcalibur doing work. And we're gonna go from here. I wonder who he's going to throw out. That's a real question. Because I think he wants he wants to get out Lilligant and Torkoal at the same time. That is really the play, right? That is really the play. So he th if he throws out Torkoal on this side, I feel like he has a chance of just protecting the Torkoal. Right? And swapping into Lilligant. So I want to attack that that Gargonax slot. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. We'll just see if he goes in Torkoal first. And then I'll explain farther. That's a really good battle. Yeah, Torkoal comes in here. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he protects the Torkoal, because Torkoal is so low HP already, right? I'm thinking he protects the Torkoal, and then swaps into Loganth with that Focus Ash to get the after you rolling. But if he swaps into Loganth, it's going to be in the Gargle next slot. 
So I'm going to Icicle Spear down that slot, and I'm going to Shadow Ball across this way. Right? It, it, it kind of covers both things that we're going up against. So it makes the most sense. So wide guard coming out here. I'm not going for Maker Man. This is a really good turn for us. Really, really good turn. Really solid turn from us. So again, it cut my, my move set right here covered both things that we want to do. Or both things that they that he had planned. It was either it was either he attacks with Torkoal or he what's it called? Or he swaps in a little again to get the, to get the after you rolling. Can you get one more? Oh dude, why can't you never get five? We need a five there. We need a five. But everything's working perfectly here. We take out Torkoal. Logan's gonna come out here. Uh, it does have air for you, so we could get one more turn here. And I don't know if I pop a make it rain, right? Do I pop a make it rain? I could ice try to make it rain here, right? Unless if after you will make Gargle Mac go first. But we're hoping that the uh, that the sun goes out here, right? Should be kind of close. We got Salt Cure chipping me up slowly. 15 HP every single time. Not doing bad here. We're not doing bad. And we just want the sun gone. And did the sun leave? It doesn't look like it's on the field anymore. That'd be huge for us. Is the sun gone? Please tell me the sun's gone. But yes, it is gone. That is lovely. That is lovely. So sun is gone. And from here, I'm just going to pop and make it rain. And do I just ice shard or do I icicle spear? I'm just going to ice shard this thing. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I should come out here, taking off the thing's focus ash because most Logans roll with the focus ash, dealing some. Oh my God! This doesn't even have a focus ash. We could have did that years ago. We could have did that years ago. But see you, Logan. That's totally fine. Golden Go is gonna go next, and that was a perfect battle by us, showcasing Espeon early on here, getting out our back end Pokemon and sweeping the battle from there. Awesome battle from us. One and zero. Let's hop to our second. Look for back to back victories. All right, ladies and gentlemen, second match coming at you guys. We got a true test right here. Going up against a high tier meta team right here with Garchomp, Arcanine, Titar, Golden Goat, Meowth, Skirata, and Murkrow. How am I playing this one? How am I going to go into it? I feel like Espeon's going to be really solid here. It has the Fairy Terror type, which we can Thrasilize onto, and then we'll, we can be super effective up against four of these Pokemon. The Murkrow, the Meowth, the Titar, and the Garchomp. So that's going to be very valuable for us. I'm going to bring Espeon in here, but more so as a back end Pokemon. I feel like uh, Talonflame can come out here and get rocking with that Pokemon. And second Pokemon, who should we lead? Bax Calibur's not too bad. Ice Shard's really good up against the Garchomp. Uh, do I want to do that? I want to go Bax. Could go Bax Calibur. Kind of dig Bax Calibur. Yeah, we're going to Bax Calibur, Espeon, and then I'm thinking Golden Go. Same team, different order. Seems like our best bet here, right? I really like it. Or I could go Moongus. Moongus isn't too shabby here either. Lovely little Amoongus. Nah, I like where we're sitting. We're gonna lock in this squad. Look for to go back to back here. But in my last video, I talked about how a lot of my viewers eat while they're watching. That's you guys again. Let me know what you guys are munching on. I love to know. Right now, all I have is water, but I just ate a nice little breakfast. Had a little bit of an omelet. Had a nice little peanut butter bagel. Fueled up. Fueled up to get some victories for you guys. <laughs> so let me know what you guys are munching on. Well, Golden Glow and Murkrow is gonna come out here. Uh... Yeah, I can deal with that. I mean, yeah, I can deal with that. Uh, we're going to go into a Tailwind just to match his energy, and I might just protect here. I am terrified of that Golden Go, right? Let's see what that Golden Go wants to do. Yeah, I'm just going to protect here. I'm just going to protect and see how, see how things play out. But his Golden Go could definitely uh, Terra here. Could swap. I could do a lot of different options. There's a lot of different options here. But I feel like Talonflame is so top tier right now. I love this Pokemon. I like using it more than Murkrow, but Murkrow's obviously not. He's goaded right now. Murkrow's the real deal right now. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. Tailwind comes out. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. And are you going for Make It Rain? Make It Rain is going to fly out here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. The reason I wanted to protect him was because I knew Golden Go had his chance of getting after my Max Caliber. Because I do not have Gale Wings on this. So we're using that to we're, we're, we're playing off of that so tailwind's gonna come out here lovely 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 and how's my speed looking i mean flare blitz can easily pop out here correct might as well drop it might as well drop a flare blitz and go into an icicle spear i think it's just free right yeah it's just free you're gonna stay in there with that golden go i'll take the ko all day i'll take it all day you're just you're just handing it to me for free big time flare blitz can we eat up the recoil damage we can oh yes Talonflame. Oh, he's dead now. 
That's upsetting. That's upsetting. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a speed drop here. Uh, Ice Spear Spear's gonna come out here, and this has a high chance of KO, right? We can hit four to five times on a super effective Murkrow. I'm all about it. Let's get it, Max Caliber. Or just twice. Or just twice. See you later, Murkrow. Get on at my game. No chance to survive that. So we get rid of the Murkrow. Meowth is probably the back end Pokemon, and I can see it having focus as so with Bax Caliber, I might just Icicle Spear, get some value off of it, and kind of go from there. And then maybe try to pop a Trick Room. Maybe, depending on what Pokemon he has, because my Pokemon are slow, slow. Slow, slow. Actually, 153 is great speed. Really good speed. I could just Terrasilize. I could just Fairy Terror here, depending on what Pokemon they have. Because if I had to guess, probably Meowth, and Garchomp, right? That seems like the top two. There's Chomp. Yes, come out, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm 100% Terrasilizing here. 100% Terrasilizing here. Terrasilizing the Fairy. We're going to go for a Gleam. And then from here, do I protect Caliber or do I just Ice Shard? I think I have to Ice Shard. I'm just going to take off Focus Ash here. Vex Caliber dies. Vex Caliber dies. It's, it's going to be real tough. But yeah, I'm going to take off Focus Ash on Miascarada. I think this battle is going to come down to us losing because of this Garchomp going to be able to Terrasilize and rip. Absolutely rip into me. With, uh... With EQs, right? It is scary. And now he's not. That's fine. So I shot no Sash either. Yo, Bax Caliber hitting hard. Hitting hard. That's pretty much game, set, match, right? He's going to Dragon Call one of my Pokemon. That's fine. He's going to go for the EQ. Straight up EQ. That's fine. That's about Eats. Max Caliber eats. Dazzling coming out here. Espeon showcasing the power. And we are one shot in Pokemon. <laughs> this dude turned off his console. I love it. I love it. Espeon making people rage quit. You gotta love it, guys. You have got to love it. I feel like I haven't made anybody rage quit in a good bit. So that felt really good. I feel like that was more of like a sword and shield move where people would just turn off their consoles. But Scarlet and Violet, that feels good. That definitely feels good. Made that person turn off his console for the day. He's done. They are done playing this game for the whole day. I feel good about that. I feel good. Like I said, sometimes we're toxic around here, and this is toxic time. But third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Going up against a very cool Tinkathon team. And I think I was going to showcase this one. It, I think it's a Mole Breaker Tinkathon with uh, Murkrow, Floatzel, and Pelper for Rain Squad. And then it's got Palmot and Miascarada. So this is going to be a perfect time for us to lead Talonflame. Palmot has Fake Out. We have the Covert Cloak. That can work wonders for us. So I'm all about that. So I'm going to go Talonflame. And who else should I lead? I could go Espeon. Espeon with Gleam could be nice. I do like you. So I am going to go Espeon. Espeon and Talonflame. Nice little lead for us. We could go. Gold we could actually lead Golden Go instead of Espeon. Just to dodge Fake Out all around. Or maybe force a Fake Out turn into Talonflame. Which I could really, really like. You know, I am going to end up doing that. I'm going to go into them too. Let's do it. So we're going to bring in them too. We're going to bring Espeon here. And Bax Caliber. <laughs> Another same team, just different order. I just feel like this team really thrives out up against everything. And you guys seen already seen Tauros and Amuga. So right now I'm really liking this team and this core four that I've been using. It just feels like it kind of covers a lot of different things. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Plus, we're really just here for today's video to showcase Espeon. And I feel like I'm doing that really, really well. So hopefully you guys leave a like on today's video. Click that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And our opponent's gonna end up leading double bird. Double bird. We're throwing out another bird. We got triple bird on the field. Golden go. I'm sorry. You, you are uh, you weren't invited to the bird club. Birds only here. Birds only. Do we have another bird? Espeon, can you act like a bird? I mean, cats and birds kind of go together because cats attack birds. So, like, isn't Espeon a cat, right? Some sort of a cat. <laughs> like, maybe we should just put it out on the field. Nah, nah, nah. We're going to set up a tail when you're actually, that's scary, scary. I don't think we can get off Tailwind because he's going to rip into me. I, I, I don't know what to do. The Mercury's going to set up Tailwind. That might leave Pelper to outspeed us. You know what? Screw it. I'm setting up a nasty plot. Or stat oh, he can just haze me. That was dumb. That was a dumb, 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 dumb nasty plot. Very, very dumb nasty plot from Jeans. I do get off the Tailwind, but I'm forcing him to make a haze next turn instead of foul playing into me. That's fine. We're probably losing our Talonflame, which kind of sucks, but I think we'll work with it. I think we'll work with it. Hydra pumps, yeah. Like I said, we're losing our talent from all day. But I just use it to get off Tailwind. That was a dumb, dumb play by us right there. Kind of put us in a hole. Like Golden Go. They're just, they're just gonna haze me. They are just going to haze me. I could go into Espeon Terrasilize. 
Or I could just go into Bax and save my S bound. Which I'm thinking Bax is going to be my plan. I'm going to go into Bax Caliber. I am? Do I pop a Make It Rain? Do I pop a lovely little Make It Rain? I don't want to go into Icicle Spear. I really do. I know I can take off the Murkrow. But I think I just go after the Pelper. And do I still pop a Make It Rain? Screw it. Yeah, we're doing it. Even though he's hazing me here. He's not hazing me? Thank you. Thank you. Just going into a foul play, which I'm hoping we can eat up a foul play. We're getting some big damage off of Pelper. If Golden Go can just land this, uh, just make it rain. This could be a big turn from us. Foul play coming in. I was going to say, you should eat that up. You're special attacking. Golden Go, go next, please. My dog. Golden Go. Taking out two Pokemon. Nasty Plot was set up, so that works really, really well on us because he's going to drop our special attack. But we boosted it, so. Golden Ghost just chilling here. Double kill, double bird kill. We just killed two birds with one stone. Get it? Got it, guys? Get it? Got it? <laughs> but, uh, hmm. Who's he gonna bring out? We still have Espeon in the back end. Palmot, I like that for Espeon. And Floatzel. Don't know how I feel about that, but yeah, I think I just have to protect just to watch out for that fake out. And what's my stats looking like? Still plus one. Might as well drop another Make Arena. Might, might as well, right? Where do I ship Shadow Ball? I'm just straight up Shadow Ball. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you, guys, you guys had to see that by now online or something. The Let's do it guy from High on Life. Let's do it. Let's, I can't. Let's do it. <laughs> Bro, that game's so funny. I've been saying it all day. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel like I do it pretty good too. I feel like I do it really well. So I end up protecting you guys for the close combat. Uh, what do I do from here? It's an easy. We have to terror here. We have focus ash. I'm gonna have to terror go into a gleam. And do I ice shard palm out just in case it's ash? Yes, right? I think I have to. Let's do it. <laughs> and then once the rat slides, we'll go into a gleam. Great battle here. Great third and final battle. I'm super surprised that Mercury didn't haze me. That was. Blew my mind. Blew my mind. But come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. I've been walking around my house. I don't know. I'm in like I'm in a great mood today. Woke up, was gritty in at breakfast, saying let's do it. Like <laughs> it's just a party at the Gene's house. It's a party over here. But he's gonna end up terroring. Okay, I I can deal with that, but I feel like he's tearing down Espion, correct? I think you have to tear down Espion. Makes the most sense. But, but I do have the lovely little focus ash. So I feel like Wave Crash is going to come in here. He's going to do a ridiculous amount of recoil damage. Palmot's still going to close combat in the back to Caliber. And then Gleam should pick up the double kill. It makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. Wave Crash into Espeon, bringing me down to Sash. Recoil damage is ridiculous. Hold up. Wait a minute. Palmot, I just need to close combat. Or Espeon can maybe outspeed. 153 speed's high. Let's go, Espeon. Yes, yo. Everything's working out perfectly. Everything's working out perfectly. Close combat goes over there. This should be a double kill. I have no problem taking out Palma here's defense is dropped. But I don't know why. I feel a little shaky on this Floatzel, but it should be able to take out Floatzel. Gleam coming out here for the Espeon Clutch and the perfect record. Your boy Jeans. The GOAT. The GOAT today. Like I said, woke up feeling good. Played perfectly well. 3-0 for today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how it is done. 3-0 for today's video and got to use Espeon in all three battles. So we got to use the most off-meta Pokemon on this team to its fullest potential. Absolutely dominated with Espeon. Picked up a nice little clutch win in battle number three with it. And then in the first two battles, it was out and about doing work, getting after it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.